Every generation is supposed to prepare for the next. Since few monks could read or write for centuries, our people have used the threads of life to tie one generation to the next. Hmong women have always played an important role. It is a gift from the heart, made with the hand. It starts early. It is normal for grandmothers to hand stitch a nya or baby carrier for their expected grandchild. The nya is used to keep a baby close to its mother, and that thread continues. When a girl gets older, her mother teaches her how to wabandao or do the traditional hand stitching. Often, the only words spoken are instructions. The beauty is in the unspoken. For shy people that show a little affection, love can be seen in the proud eyes of a mother and a daughter's willingness to learn. Together, young girls and their mothers create beautiful mom costumes, costumes that young girls would wear to New Year's celebration to find a mate. The traditional monk threads worn by a girl often shows her family history and what family clan she belongs to. It connects her to her roots. When a monk girl marries, right before she leaves her parents' home, she is dressed into the traditional threads she was born into. Again, a reminder of where she came from. A girl may leave her family, but she can never leave her roots. As a part of her dowry, her family gives her a special set of clothes called chalao, or clothes for when you get old, meaning her burial clothes. No matter who she becomes or where she goes, the Hmong threads of life that a girl is born into remains strong throughout. From birth to death, the bandao or hand stitching that welcomes a young girl into the world takes her throughout her journey and keeps her connected to her people. However, when you think about it, there really is no end. Because if she does what generation before have done, her own daughters will learn bandao and continue stitching the threads of life. <laughs>